Good evening. This is my second report. Back to you. I went to Pakistan because I felt that is where the Lord was leading me. So I went there under invitation by a couple of the pastors and it's actually alarming what is going on but it's actually a greater blessing to see the power of God to see what is happening in Pakistan I saw a people that love God with all their hearts I saw families that love God I saw children that love God in the first short time of my being there I saw the adverse effects of what ministers are doing in the house of God which is not right which the rest of the world has picked up on and very quickly and that is this as with every other place there are many ministers that are lifting their hands up and in the name of God declaring that they need finances to feed the poor they need finances to build the church they need finances to put a roof on it on a building so that the people have a place to worship and then in the first week as I went around from church to church my heart just broke in two because those children I saw without shoes those children I saw without any help and they weren't helping them because when I looked at the ministers homes one minister in particular had built almost a castle for himself on the funds that were being filtered to him and then I went to look at the grounds where the church was and I saw this bare empty piece of ground but yet he's declaring to the world this is the ground I want to build the church on and he's building his house there is nothing wrong with that but everything is wrong with it because you see if I am being dishonest in my actions and dishonest in my appearance and dishonest in what I am saying to the public that is a lie and that doesn't come from the Bible and it doesn't come from God and if it doesn't come from God then it certainly has to come from the enemy of God And then I went and I spent some time with another man of God. And I saw something so beautiful. I saw people united, strong, and standing firm for God. You see, this, this young man had been given a a piece of ground from his dad and he is financially secure and he is able to look after himself but you see this young man had a call from God and instead of going to build his home on his piece of ground that he had he went and sold it and he purchased some slaves and he built them up 
that they were able to have their own little business and they were able to support their families and they were free from slavery. And then I saw he wasn't alone. But every single pastor that he introduced me to was doing the same thing. There was one pastor that had a 4x4 four four and he worked in the hospital as a radiologist. And he got a call from God to go into the ministry. And the first thing he did was he sold his 4x4 four four and he went to help the poor. And he took a slave family and he gave them money to get them free from slavery. And he gave them a small business. You see, there is a lot of good happening in Pakistan. And then as I wept one day before God, I said to the Lord, what do I do? What difference can I make in this place of Pakistan? I see a people so on fire for God. I see the, the needs. I see what they need. What can I do? And just as there is a blank canvas behind me, the Holy Spirit said this to me. There is the blank canvas. Now you write on that blank canvas. And all I could do was weep before God. And say, Lord, I am too unworthy to write one letter on that blank canvas. But you go ahead and you write it and I'll do it. Whatever you write there, I will follow and I will make a difference. And then all of a sudden, we started getting together. Ireland, Australia, South Africa, and Pakistan. And God is doing it. We're doing nothing but obeying Him and listening to Him. And doing what he says we must do. And the only way I see. Is getting involved yourself. And that is what we are about. Tender loving care ministries. Reaching out. To the children. It does not mean. That the pastor will go without. They have needs too. They've got families too. They need to be provided for. But I am not about. To build a man a castle. When I could reach out. And save hundreds. And feed hundreds. I'm not about. To give to a man. Money to fly all over the world and entertain himself while he calls out and says, God has done this, God has done that. No, sir. It is the caring hearts of people. Because as a dad myself, when I hugged a little man on the streets of Pakistan, and he had no mom, and he had no dad, and he had no family. And as I put my arms around him, weeping, I said to him, I am your family. I am your dad. Because that is the unity of God's people. From every nation, 
doesn't matter your color, your creed, what you believe in. When God is in your heart, He moves you to the point where you feel, no matter where you go, you speaking to family. Every single church I went to with this dear minister brother of mine, you could feel the love of God, the peace of God, the joy of God, the unity, not only with one or two people, but with entire churches. And they were all doing the same thing, building the kingdom of God. God's way, not our way. And that is the only way that true success comes. And that is the only way you reach out to the world in truth, in righteousness, in holiness, and with a repentant heart. I am by far from perfect. I've got many, many faults, but I will always be on my knees asking God, which one can we deal with next? Which sin next must we get rid of in this body? And I will keep going till the day I die. And I pray that you would not hold back, but that you would get involved in reaching out to people with needs. Only go through the right channels, do it right, and you will reap the fruits of your labor. You do it wrong, you will reap the fruits of your labor. <clears throat>